Hello Pisces, 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We are going to be looking at your weekend love forecast for this weekend, May 10th, 11th, and 12th. Welcome to Empress Nintera 777. I am Kimmy. Happy to have you here. If you are brand new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, for all of you here that are visiting, please click that little like button down below so that this video can get out to more people who might be in need of it. And thank you so much for your help with that. It's a huge blessing and I appreciate you tremendously. Also, be sure to comment down below so that I can stay connected with you. And click that wonderful share button to share with your friends. All right. Remember, this is a general reading, so not everything in this reading will resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't, and don't try to force it to meet your personal situation. You can always check your other birth chart placements for some additional information. All right, Pisces, let's see what we have for you, my dears. You know I adore my Pisces viewers. I hope you are all well. A shout out to all of my Pisces moderators. I think all four of you are Pisces. <laughs> Super appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your help when I go live. I appreciate it. Two brand new ones um, with the other two as well. Let's see, Pisces. Pisces. Pisces, we have the Magician. Have you been doing some Law of Attraction work? Law of Attraction. It's been a while since I've done that. <laughs> Law of Attraction. Ooh, somebody wants a second chance. And somebody feels like it's a never-ending cycle. That they're like fighting the same battle over and over and over again. All right, what's, what's the revolving door? Okay, Magician. Why is our Magician here? Why is our magician here? Ace of Cups. Somebody wants love in their life. Somebody's trying to create love in their life, bring love in their life, attract love in their life. Okay. I'm not seeing this as a current long-term relationship for reading based upon what I'm seeing. Ooh, we have the star card here under judgment, clarifying judgment, and we have the chariot clarifying our nine of wands. Ah, five of cups, Pisces. All right. Overall energy, heartbreak, sadness, feeling of loss. Heartbreak, sadness, feeling of loss. All right, if you're feeling like there's some sort of loss, I'm telling you, go watch that live video where I was wearing that pink shirt and rewatch that Pisces video. <laughs> it may just help because like I said, y'all aren't together right now if you're dealing with the twin flame situation. So if that's you, Go watch that video. Ignore this one. <laughs> Actually, watch this one first and then go watch that one. <laughs> All right, so I'm not seeing people in a long-term partnership because we do have judgment here unless the two of you have gotten into a great big huge old fight and you're needing to fix it. Um, so if that's you and you got into a great big huge old fight, you're trying to figure out how to fix that fight, you feel like you are doing the same thing over and over and over again with this person, but it looks like you are hoping to find a solution to that, but it's not coming this weekend. You guys are probably gonna continue to fight this weekend. But for those of you that are not in that situation, we have the magician here. Like I said, you might be doing some law of attraction, law of attraction, maybe doing some you know, water manifestation or something, because there's a cup right here. Um, I see that this is a strong desire in your life, Pisces, but I mean, you know, Pisces, we're all about love, are we not? I mean, that's, that's the one thing that seems to be the most important to Pisces, to Pisces. I think it's because we, we fall so hard, we fall so deep, um, and we fall, fall so fast. People fall in love with us pretty fast too, by the way, <laughs> but, um, you know, there's this this sense that even though you can be complete in yourself, Pisces, 
because you're very strong you're, you're very much about your your self-love and your own happiness and loving yourself first but even though you can be complete in that there's the desire to have an addition of somebody in your life you know there's that desire so here you are hoping you have everything that you need in order to bring love into your life there may be a specific person that's on your mind um, I feel like there is a specific person on your mind because we moved to judgment for sec you know towards second chances. I feel like you're going back and forth about this though, um, Pisces. The only reason I say that is you know I'm really drawn to the two cups that are on this card, and this is this card is not specifically a a Pisces card. It's Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. The Aces. Um, but I'm looking at the two fish, and although they're swimming in the same direction, they're swimming slightly in opposing directions. And so it reminds me of our, of our the symbol for our sign, and, and you know, the fish going in two different directions. So I feel like you're of two different minds regarding this love connection, regarding wanting love in your life. Um, specifically related to somebody that you like back in your life. It looks like you're kind of going in two different directions about it. But you're hoping, you're hopeful, um, eternally hopeful about this connection with the magician. You know, I, I think with the magician, there's a sense that like you're hoping, you're hoping for a miracle or magic to occur. <laughs> um, you know, something, some wonderful thing. Because I've got unicorns in my head. <laughs> the, the the vision of unicorns. You know, they're they're not real, they're mystical, they're magical, um, but there's there's that sense that you would like for something, you know, some sort of miracle, some sort of magical thing to occur with regards to this connection to have a second chance with this person. Now it's, it's there's a very strong chance that somebody is coming towards you asking for a second chance because we have judgment here. If this is not somebody coming towards you, this is you hoping somebody will come towards you because you want a second chance with someone. Um, somebody may be apologizing to you. They're... I do get the sense that somebody's coming in to bring healing to the connection, but I, I feel like it's more of a thought process at the moment because you're going to be in this feeling of sadness and loss still and so with that sadness and loss there's kind of like the sense that this person's not going to come back but there's going to be some healing in this situation that's why our star card is here healing of the connection if you're going to give this person a second chance there's going to be some sort of communication something that heals this situation I feel like this is a desire of yours. You desire to reconnect with this person. You desire to give this person a second chance. You want to see the connection healed. You want to create the connection in your life once again. You want to see it, it reform. But And you're not giving up on it because our nine of wands never gives up on anything. But here you are. It's like same old thing, same old thing. If they do approach you, it might be the same old thing. You know, you don't want the same old thing anymore. You're done with that. You're, you're almost at the point where you're ready to release these burdens and let them go. So you're done with the same old thing over and over again. What you desire is movement. And what you're getting is a lack of movement. A lack of movement. A constant perseverance. Um, oh, you know I don't like to end on a yucky note. So I'm going to have to take another card. Pisces, you want you want a magical fix here for this connection. You want to see it you want to see it take life again. You want to see it reborn, re, regrown, start from scratch, but I think I think you're almost to the point where you've had enough of waiting. You've had enough of the heartache. All right. More information for Pisces, please, Spirit.
I thought I saw a flipper, but it might have flipped back. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The sun. You are going to have happiness. There is going to be happiness. There's going to be some sort of clarity with regards to this connection. Clarify that sun for me, please, spirit. Confusion. Bear with me, I have a card mess. So this, this is about clarity. The sun is about clarity. If we have confusion clarifying our sun, justice, fairness, high priestess, high priestess, your card. All right, your intuition, your intuition is going to help you to have clarity regarding this connection. Um, if you have a telepathic connection with this person, there may be some sort of, you know, um, information that kind of hits you out of the blue that, you know, brings some clarity. Um, you know, there's a sense that you just want things to be balanced. You want fairness. You want, you want to be treated fairly. But... Either this other person is confused or you're confused about the connection because you're not seeing any movement. There will be clarity here, but it looks like the clarity is going to come through some sort of spiritual means, um, some sort of intuitive means. So pay attention to your intuition, Pisces. It's usually spot on. Um, I know my water signs love to know what signs are in here. So we will hit those. We have... Scorpio with our Five of Cups. Scorpio with Judgment. We have Aries with our ma Magician. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aquarius, Cancer. Sagittarius, we're pretty much hitting all the signs. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces. Leo, Libra, and Scorpio. All right. Hope that helps, Pisces. I'm not liking that energy. I'm really not. Try to keep a positive mindset. Um, it looks like this weekend, There's if those of you are, are waiting for somebody to return, it doesn't look like it's going to happen this weekend. So um, keep your chin up. Keep your chin up and go watch that other video. <laughs> the, the one where um, I'm wearing the pink shirt, the live. Yeah, go watch it. It'll give you a, a little bit of peace if you resonated with it when I did the live video and uh, it'll help. You don't need to feel like you're kind of like left out in the cold either. So go enjoy yourself this weekend. Have some fun. You know, do something for you. All right. Bye y'all. See you soon. Be sure to um, comment down below and like, mash that like button, share this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye y'all. Thanks for your help there.